Hi, this is Dr. Adeline Tan from University Malaysia, Sabah. This video clip is prepared for University uh, UMS student for the uh, course Fundamental of Entrepreneurial Acculturation. In this video clip, I will discuss digital marketing again. This is the fourth video clip I prepared for this topic. In this video clip, I will discuss the normal marketing platform that we can use for digital marketing. I will look at uh, WhatsApp, email and website. First of all, I will look at WhatsApp. For WhatsApp, this is a very common way or common platform that we use in Malaysia to communicate with each other. So this is a popular platform that we can use for our digital marketing as well. For digital marketing, of course, we use WhatsApp as basic communication. That means we use it as a way to know our customers. We use it as a way to do descriptive selling. That means that we give them information to, to buy uh, tips to use the product, uh, benefit of product, and so on. So this is some descriptive information that we provide them. And after that, we give them uh, encouragement, such as a sales promotion, voucher, discount, and so on to, to encourage them to buy the suggestive selling, to encourage them to buy. So through the WhatsApp, we can build up the rapport with the customers. That means we know them, we know them, we know what they want to buy. We build up a better in relationship with the customers. After that, WhatsApp also as a way to provide them with information and they also can reach us directly without uh, go through the middle person. And then through the WhatsApp, we can persuade them to buy our product by telling them the, uh, the benefit of the product, telling them the, the importance of using the product, the discount that we can give and so on. And after that, we can provide them with information how to buy the product the price and so on. And with all this, we can try to sell to them. So that is the uh, upselling. This one, WhatsApp marketing can allow us to provide them with photo, video clips and so on. All these are very important to help us to promote our product. Another method that I want to discuss today is email marketing. For the email marketing system, this is a free email system that we can use. Of course, you can opt for a paid email system, but if you want to go for free, it's okay, all right? First of all, of course, we, we need to collect data of customers or okay, data of audience who might want to buy our product. We need to collect data from them. So we have to provide them with uh, maybe some uh, Browser or some information and ask them to to provide us with their email address so that we can send them the information. So from this email database, we can give them market promotion, marketing promotion. We can tell them we are giving you special offer for certain period from when until when. All right. The second method we can do is we rather than we give them information, we provide them uh, with product information. Rather than promotion, we provide them with product information, the benefit of the product, and so on. And we also uh, we also want to build up the relationship with the customers. So we create membership. Maybe with that membership, we can offer them special discount that non-members didn't receive. So we provide them membership and then we ask them to subscribe to our email system. So all this will help us to reach to the potential customers and then we encourage them to purchase our product. So this is the email marketing system. You can see that in email marketing system, actually we can make use of a few different ways to do it. First, the first type is direct email. So we directly email to the customers and normally when we directly email to the customers, we must have a head uh, title of the email, what we want to say. And then we must have sidebar, content and other information provide them. As, and very, very important in the email is we must provide them with our 
personal or the company information so that they will trust our product all right they believe that oh this is the real product not a scam mail and the second thing we can provide we can use is a newsletter we do it as a newsletter by providing them with information about product or information about something that relevant to that product and third we can do it from a another method that is placing apps in the email in the email so we place some apps advertisement in the email to them so that they will look at our apps okay you can see that we can encourage them to we can encourage them to to buy our product by providing them with voucher for example we allow a pop-up in our email and this pop-up will give them voucher for example 25 ringgit voucher after they watch our email and then we also can use what you call a sidebar when you do an email you can put a sidebar from there for them to collect information or sidebar for them to to take action about our product also another important thing in email marketing is the content the content must be relevant and suitable for the product next we look at the footer the footer is something that we can provide them with extra maybe Sometimes we can provide them with review from other people, review from the customers, or even uh, some other information about the product that the customer want to buy. So this is the email. Next, we also look at the website. For the website, actually there are two uh, common websites that we normally use for digital marketing. The first type is the informative type. Informative type is the website that provides them with information. Normally, they are quite, it can be static, dynamic, and interactive. And there is another website that is the e commerce website. Through this e commerce website, actually, the, the buyer can directly buy from that website. This e commerce website can be a third party website that we pay. The website to get an entrance to this to show our product to display our product to the customers so when we do this marketing remember there are two ways of uh, selling the product here first we can use affiliate marketing in another word we do an advertisement in affiliate website that link to the seller website so we are selling them through a third party website for example lazada for example the grab food website that we we can use it to sell our product and then when the buyer click on the advertisement or the link they can choose to buy the product paying the price online using credit card debit card or e-wallet and after that purchase will made and then they will um our affiliate or the third party will receive a commission for selling the product and we will sell the product okay another method is we call it drop sheet marketing that is the seller will get the product at the wholesale price from the supplier and the supplier will then deliver the product directly to the buyer in another word the supplier will deliver the product directly to the buyer. Normally, in this way, the seller can earn more profit from the selling because they do not go to the third party. They will directly sell the product to the customers and customer can make a product directly from the seller. They might trust the seller better and then at the same time customer might get a special discount for buying directly from the customers besides that we can see that there are other ways to generate income from the website all right one example is from for google apps google earn the profit by allowing advertisement and receive commission from no number of click attempt so 
when there are many people click certain apps on the website, then they will receive more commission from the click. This is the example here. You can see the apps here. And when we want to build the website, we can make use of all the platform, all the apps that you can find online. For example, you can use the e-commerce website, for example, Awana, to help you to, to build up the concept of e-commerce. And then we can use Website Builder to build the website, to make it nice and beautiful using Webbly. To, to make sure the first impression of using the website is user is friendly to the user. And then at the same time, we have to manage the content. When we want to manage content, we can use uh, apps, apps such as WordPress. WordPress to help us to make sure content nicer and beautiful. And of course, you can try to build from the scratch using all these website that will help you. Okay, for, for this video clip, I will stop here. Thank you for watching. And for more information, please refer to Smart V3 UMS or go to my Schoolo Schoology account. This is the access code to download the PowerPoint slide. For students who already watched all the video clips for Unit 6 and Unit 7, you need to go to the my Schoology account to answer the, to answer the recap question to get the attendance marks, right? And please also go to Go e-commerce website to create your profile because you'll need to use it after that. Thank you very much.